Hi guys and welcome to another Southway 9043 video. Today I'm going to be make, trying to make a Metcalf PO246 00HO scale railway bridge double or single track over double under. Now as it says its overall size is once my phone size is gonna there we go. Its wing walls are 435 millimeters by for one one hundred and thirty millimeters, which is basically forty three and a half centimeters by thirteen centimeters. Bridge on its own, which is just basically this bit here. These are basically the wing walls. The bridge itself, there, as it says, bridge on its own is eighteen centimeters by thirteen, so it's going to be eighteen by thirteen. The arch is one hundred twenty meters wide. And height is 48 millimetres, which is 4.8 centimetres, rising to 72 millimetres, which is 7.2 centimetres. Please do not ask me what this is in inches. I have not got a clue. But as you can see, guys, that is the Metcalf PO246. And this one cost me from Ronio Models in Romford, uh, cost me 13 99 Bits and pieces that I also use is, if I show you here, just uh, move the uh, pack out of the way, is a good set of scalpels with plenty of blades, make sure all, they are all sharp. These, this set is getting a bit old, I need to get some new blades, but also the handles are always, you know, handy to have blades you can get wherever in a good model shop that's my scalpels also what i use is now a lot of people use um a lot of the hobby um glues you know the instant glues you know um and i deluxe models do very very good uh, selection of glues but this is what i tend to use on card ki on card kits like metcalfs it's hobby craft tacky glue um get 120 meter mil permanent dries clear and i think it's about two three quid for a pot of this and it does go a very very long way also what i use especially with metcar kits is um i call them bulldog clips basically if you get two edges that you have to glue together instead of just sitting there holding them with your fingers just poke them on the sides like that and you can't go wrong you can put the model down and away you go there you go i use them as bulldog clips also what i use if you're doing buildings and things like that i use one of these um i got this one from wilkinson's you can get me in 99p shops basically it's you've got a spirit level there which you can use there to make sure you know if you're doing the shelves and things like that comes in handy for making sure things are level you've got a 30 centimeter 12 inch ruler and I'll try and unscrew it bearing in mind i'm doing this one-handed you can unscrew this which has got a little spring there which helps the tension on this bit and obviously you can make it shorter or as long as you want and then once you've got the desired length you just basically Tighten it up, and there you have a perfect square there. Or you can even use that bit. That would be my little kittens. Uh, they're about nine weeks old now, and uh, I've got three of them, and they are causing mayhem. So sorry about that, guys. But as I was saying, you get a perfect 90 degree angle there. Um, you can always take the ruler completely off. Just mind you don't lose this bit. I have had one of these before and I have lost this little screw bit. It is hard to come out, but they do come out. Um, but you take that out and obviously you've got a 90 degree bend there. And obviously if you're doing 45 degrees, you've got a lovely 45 degree angle there. Okay guys, that is the Metcalf kit that I'm going to be making this afternoon. I will come back and show you the progress. Take care. Bye bye for now. Hi guys, welcome back to this video of the Metcalf PO246 Railway Bridge Construction Kit. And as you can see, I've at the moment just built these two bits here, which are quite easy. They literally 
two sections, two sides, top bit, fold them over, and you have to put in two side bits. I've done two of those and connect them together. And as you can see, like I was saying, when you have to two, glue two structures together, I use these bulldog clips. And as you can see, I've got four there, two there, and two on the other side. I did have um, one there and one there to obviously pinch that off, but I've taken that off as uh, obviously so I can show you. And as you can see already, it's as solid as a rock. Now, I know people are going to scream at me for using a normal table mat. It is glass. Um, it's not being scratched by my scalpels. And the wife doesn't exactly mind. I will be eventually getting a hobby craft, uh, not hobby craft, but, you know, hobby cutting mat um, from Rony Models. I think they're about four pound, I think. But I haven't had a chance to get down there to get one yet. All right, guys, but that's, uh, that's how far I've got so far. I'll come back when I've made more progress. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye for now. Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see, been a bit more busier this afternoon. Uh, just put the faces on for the front sides. And also just put on the brick wall and ceiling on the inside. Now this is one continuous piece of paper. And it has four tabs for each side of the wall. So that's how far we've got so far. And also what I've been doing while I was waiting for that to dry off, be making the uh, walls for the uh, top of the bridge. As you can see, bulldog clips coming very, very handy. And also be making the uh, buttresses, buttresses. And again, bulldog clips coming very, very handy. There you go, there's uh, one of them. That's now clear of clips. Oh, it could be now be cleared of clips. There's the three. Just waiting for this one here to finish off drying. And there's the uh, four budgets. So it's getting there, guys. Hopefully, when I come back, hopefully we'll have a finished, hopefully finished bridge. See you soon, guys. Bye bye for a minute. Hi, guys, and welcome back to the next part of this review and build of the uh, Metcalf Bridge. And as you can see. Both sides are now clearly on. Done all the buttresses and also put in the uh, top walls. These bits here are actually this bottom bit is laser cut, and you put that on the bottom of this bit. Um, made a bit of a mistake on that little tiny bit there. Got a load of glue in there and tried rubbing it out with a baby wipe. Not a wise idea, as you can see, it rubs the print off the card. It's not a wise idea. But apart from that, it's coming up to be a good model. Quite happy with it so far. And as you can see, it's pretty solid. You actually throw it about, actually. Been started on the next section. These are going to be the end pieces. That's one I haven't done anything with the end to it yet. As you can see, again, it's in two parts. You build each one first. And uh, these are quite an interesting. You have to fold them out, push them out of these, and fold these two sides up. And then glue that into place, glue that into place, hold it. Basically, what I've done was held it like that and put a piece of weight like these on it for weight. And you press it down, do both of them, stick them together. Then you put these two top sections in. These are going to be for the road. If I grab one over and show you. The road will basically sit like that on top. <coughs> and if I show you the next stage where I am at the moment. Give me two seconds. That is what it looks like. Um, we have an end on. And I've just finished doing... One of the uh, top bits of the wall. So that's the top bit on there, ready to go. Also, just finishing off the uh, budgets for either end. So, it's getting there, guys. So, I will have you leave you for the minute, and I will show you the end product. Take care, talk to you soon. Welcome back, guys, and welcome to the finished article now up and in place in the loft now i hope you can now obviously get a proper idea of 
how this is going to look now this is going to be this end bridge and I've obviously got to build another one for obviously up that end somewhere but obviously what's going to happen here is um, there's going to be a road that goes down to there to probably finish off around here finish around here sorry about the camera work. and was it probably go into some kind of in little uh, industrial estate park or might be just like a, a country road that will go underneath the uh, town scene over there because that will be eventually that over there will be a town scene or something or other excuse me <coughs> um, obviously this one here will carry along here and this will be carry along there and that'll be a road that one there again will carry along down there we'll have a few shops banks um, cinema probably etc whatever the uh, Metcalf range do and then it'll be terrace houses from there downwards and the road will go off that way to some unknown place which will obviously be a back scene later on if I can get a back scene in because obviously as you can see I've got a lovely apex pillar going up there um, <coughs> went a bit mad with the cable trunking um, to get the ballasting done as you can see ballast is now down and as you can see rock hard all I've got to do now is weather it I will do a update soon right? sorry about the shakiness so what I've done just is if I grab this one here if it lets me this one will basically still actually drying off the glue but this one here will be basically to the end of here so that the cable trunking can go underneath and it'll be the same on this side just got to basically arrange that so it's in properly but there you go guys there's the bridge all made up and ready to go for its first trains to go underneath hope you like this little hope you've enjoyed this little project there will be more to come and obviously i will update obviously when i get more parts for this section and obviously uh, you'll see the build hope you enjoyed the video if you have done please comment below and if you have liked what you've seen please comment and subscribe thank you very much bye bye for now